it's always very tricky to assess the contribution in the place of players like Yuvraj Singh. They've been match winners in the past and they always appeal to your senses, to your emotions rather than to your rational side. I mean, Yuvraj Singh, he comes into bat and you just look at him different, you don't look at the numbers. But the numbers for Yuvraj were always good and if his, his career is really broken up into pre-World Cup 2011 and post, you can say the pre-cancer, post-cancer stage. I still think the fact that Yuvraj came back and played must count as one of the greater accomplishments in Indian cricket. But you look at him before that, 12, 13 hundreds, he's got an average of 35, 36, strike rate in the very high 80s, which in those days wasn't bad at all. Yuvraj was a fantastic finisher. Then what happened after he came back? you'll see that the numbers tend to be skewed by only one or two innings. There was that magnificent 150. Then in the first game of the Champions Trophy against Pakistan, there was a 15, 28, 29 balls. But what happened post the post-cancer return of Yuvraj Singh was that one or two innings were starting to impact the overall average. And you take those innings out and you were getting the picture of someone who was not very consistent. Someone who was not pulling his weight in the side, but Yuvraj was still a match winner. And when he got it right, and so there was always a temptation to play Yuvraj Singh. But Yuvraj was always a three-in-one cricketer for India. In that period, 2008 to 2011, when he was doing so well, he was giving his captain on an average five overs per innings, and as a fielder, he was there was no comparison at all. What's happened after that? After that, he's giving on an average one over per, per international, one or two. Yuvraj, the bowler, has long gone. But in the West Indies, I saw Yuvraj batting, uh, fielding at third man, and I said, no. This is not Yuvraj. Yuvraj is prowling at point. You've, the ball goes two yards either side of Yuvraj and the fielders don't take a run. Now Yuvraj is struggling down at third man. That's another side of his game that's gone. And so for Yuvraj to be picked, he had as a batsman to be doing remarkable things and he hasn't. So you look at it from the selector's point of view, you're talking of one of the greats for India in the limited overs game who's done magnificently in T20, done remarkably well in 50 overs cricket, but currently the numbers are not stacking up. So my gut feel is that for Yuvraj to come back, he'll have to do something remarkable, but with all the focus shifting to the 2019 World Cup, my fear is that it'll be uphill.